Hi, I don't know about you, but I like to customize my FPV equipment. This is my radio. You see that it's a TX16 Radio Master with different colors on the knots and different colors inside and so on. I like to make things unique. I did something similar with my goggles and you can see here how I use some stickers, some PVC and stuff to do something unique. That was also one of the main reasons why I created my own straps. These are Nord FPV straps that you can find on my website. I will put a link on the, on the description. But basically, I, I like to have unique things. I like to have things that doesn't look the same as anyone else. And that's the main reason why I started to look into having a 3D printer to do new things with my drones. Like for example, if you look at this, this is the Beta FPV 95X, which uh, when I got it, it has an XM Plus, which meant that the antenna was inside the frame, right? And that was cool, but uh, I used Crossfire and I wanted to have a Crossfire antenna on this and I didn't have a nice way to hold the antenna. A lot of people just use zip ties to hold it in some different places, but I like to have it neat and clean. So I wanted to have a print part that I could use on the drone, but at the same time that it looked nice, like what I did here with this one. A 3D printer can help you both with functional parts and also to make things look nicer. I think in this hobby, the 3D printer is, is it, it works very well. And especially when you're using TPU. TPU is a kind of filament, a kind of plastic that is very flexible. You can see again here, uh, it's this kind of pl plastic that is very flexible and it holds crashes because you're gonna be crashing these things quite often, right? And you don't want this holder to break and then you lose your camera. When you have a 3D printer, there is an easy way to start and to get going. The first thing that you can do is to find an STL file on the internet, which is basically the design of something that someone did and uploaded to the internet. And once you have that file, you can upload it to your program, uh, which is called the slicer. Uh, it's the program that translates that image to something that the printer understands and can print layer by layer. So if you have your STL file, you can get that one uploaded to the slicer, send it to the printer, and then you will have your 3D printed part uh, after a few hours of printing. This is the simplest way. Not always work that simple. So my printer got uh, broken and I, I couldn't understand what was wrong with it. I tried to get help from Prusa support uh, from the forums on the internet, Facebook, Discord, and these kind of things, but I couldn't get uh, to, the, to the problem. In this process, uh, someone called Ulof Uglan uh, saw my desperation and frustration on one of the forums, and uh, luckily he asked me, or he told me that he could help me if I, if I brought the printer to him. He lives in the same city as me, and at that point I didn't have any idea who he was, but actually Ulof is someone that is widely known, known on the community, in the 3D printer community. He helps a lot of people. He actually designs part for a company called Bontech, which is uh, also very known on the 3D printing uh, world. And the guy just uh, offered help. I brought him the printer, he fixed it, he actually upgraded the printer with some new parts that he's designed or that he's designing and now my printer is running perfectly. But this is to say that uh, things can go wrong with a 3D printer. I think even though it's they are in a very good place right now, like I mean if you get a printer you can do a lot of things without a huge amount of work, you still have to have certain knowledge and be able to fiddle with them a little bit in order to adjust them and, and use them. So I, I told you the process, the simplest process when you find the STL and you can just go and print it and everything uh, happens nicely and works well. But there is a, a little bit of a longer process as well, which is that you can actually design things by yourself. So if you have the knowledge of uh, drawing, uh, using programs like CAD programs, 
then you can design the pieces yourself that are going to be very unique. If you want to give back to the community, you can upload them to Thingiverse, for example, or any other place where you can share these uh, models. Uh, otherwise, you can design it, you export it and put it on the slicer program that I was mentioning before, and then you are good to go and print your parts uh, that will make your drones unique. For example, I've been playing around and I got my, my naked GoPro and I did another case uh, with some of the colors just because I can do it, I like it. And then my, my naked GoPro looks a little bit different than everyone else. Another thing is that if you can draw and design your own things, you can put your logo, for example, and have something that is very particular to you. If you find two designs on the internet, two STL files on the internet that you see that one part of that design works and, the, in, and another part of the other design works as well, but you would like to put them together, there is something called MeshMaker, which is another program that allows you to manipulate two STLs and put them together to create a new one. This is very helpful when you, for example, are want to print uh, a camera mount, but the, the base of the mount is different than the one that you found. So you can get cut it on the right place, find the base of another one that works and put them together and you get a new one. I'm not an expert at all in the 3D print, printing uh, topic, but I am liking what I'm doing. I think I've, I've been learning quite a lot. I'm, health, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that I have found a lot of information on the internet and people, very nice people, willing to help you explain uh, and, and give their time in order for you to get better. Uh, and I see that there is uh, the, the 3D printing world and the FPV world, they work very well together. It's very interesting and again, useful. If you need a piece because something broke from the drone that you bought or you have this idea where you want to design something to do something special in your drone to fit some specific part, then you can do it. And, and using TPU, you will hold all those crashes. So uh, there is much more information on the internet. There is a lot that you can do. This was just a very quick update on what I'm doing and, and things that I think are, are very interesting. And if you need help with printing some part, you can always send an email to us, info at nordfpv.com or go to the website uh, nordfpv.com and find us on the chat and we will gladly help you printing your part so you can keep flying and enjoying your hobby. Thank you very much and see you soon.